hello everyone and welcome to another video In this video we're gonna do another predictions last week's predictions did pretty well got some right got some wrong so we're gonna jump into this week week three for more predictions and more content make sure to like comment and subscribe and we will jump right into this first one is falcons versus lions the lions i said they needed to win last week against the seahawks to get their win streak going but they lost unfortunately but I do believe they'll beat the Atlanta Falcons. I don't think that I don't see the Atlanta Falcons being three and zero. I think it's more realistic for both teams to just be two and one. Troy Lions' offense is very dynamic, and I definitely believe that they're going to win, especially at home. I be, believe that the Detroit Lions will win this game. The Chargers at the Vikings, two zero and two teams that were in the playoffs last year. These two teams are high scoring juggernaut teams when it comes to their offense, but their defense has a lot to be desired. Looking at the Chargers and Vikings, this is very, very tricky because one of these teams has to be 0-3. and three. I think the Minnesota Vikings will win this game. I believe the Chargers will lose and will have a lot of questions for the Chargers. But I think without Austin Eckler and the fact that their defensive head coach cannot coach defense, I think that's hilarious. I think he'll be on the hot seat, probably get fired midseason. I think the Minnesota Vikings win this game. The Saints at Packers. The Green Bay Packers are an interesting team because I can't tell if they're really good or if they're pretty decent um jordan love um didn't play he's played well this year he had that like you know mess up last week when he fell over his center um new orleans saints defense is very elite you know but the offense is kind of mid i think i'm gonna pick the saints to win this one i feel like the saints can have a really good start hopefully the saints offense can start to really kick in and be something really good um this week but i'm gonna pick the saints to beat the green bay packers in green bay i think that's something that can actually happen especially if you know aaron jones christian watson they may be coming back i don't know if that's official but you know they haven't played in a couple weeks so that might be interesting very interesting so i, I picked the saints to win this one is this the definition of a trap game the houston texans at Jacksonville Jaguars. The Texans are a team with no offensive linemen, with a rookie quarterback, um, a lot of weapons that are unproven, a rookie head coach, and a rookie offensive coordinator. But for some reason, every time they face Jacksonville, Jacksonville always thinks the bed. I'm gonna say that this is not one of those days. I want this game to be a high scoring affair. Usually Texans at Jaguars is very boring, very defensive. And I'm not a fan of defensive football, like most people aren't. And I'm a Texan fan. I'm hoping the Texans could pull out a win, but I'm gonna be realistic. I picked Jacksonville to beat the Chiefs last week and I was very sad and wrong. I'm picking Jacksonville to be better and beat the Houston Texans. But I think the Texans will put the Jacksonville Jaguars in a big, big hold, big fight and just can't hold on at the end picking the Jaguars. Denver Broncos being 0-3 would be absolutely crazy, and it's actually very realistic. The Miami Dolphins offense is looking really good. Tua Tagovailoa is playing some really good football. Um, honestly, there's no excuse for the Dolphins to lose this game. I think the Denver Broncos end up pulling it out. Um, I don't think the Denver Broncos start 0-3. I know that's kind of funny if they do, because they have Sean Payton and Russell Wilson and they traded. But I just believe that they'll find a way in this game just to make sure that they get something to be happy about. I think they're going to find a way to upset Miami. Um, very close score, but I think the Denver Broncos find some way to pull it out in this game. Tennessee Titans at Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns um, just lost Nick Chubb. They have a new running back in now, but to be honest with you, we got to see if he's for real, see if he's that guy. Um, the offense and Deshaun Watson has looked very mid. The defense plays amazing, so they'll definitely be able to really hurt Tennessee. Their offense isn't anything special either. Um, I believe Tennessee wins, though. I still believe Tennessee. This will be a defensive game, in my opinion. A game where you have to rely on the run game. Derrick Henry's a better running back. Even though he's not the same, he's kind of older now. But I think Tennessee actually finds a way to pull this one off and beat Cleveland. And Cleveland starts their descent into ineptitude. Kareem Hunt's back, but I don't think that's enough. The Bills at Commanders. Washington Commanders have been a pretty, you know, surprise team. Big surprise team being 2-0. Um, Eric B. Enemy's influence is being seen on Sam Howell. He should get a head coaching job soon. Even with that being said, I do believe the Buffalo Bills will win this game. They're not going to be the Denver Broncos and squander this. The Buffalo Bills, after being the Raiders, got their confidence back. And I believe after getting confidence like that back, they're only going to get stronger and beat down this Washington team. I'm not going to say they're going to beat them down like they beat the Raiders, which I did say they would. But I believe that they will definitely give Washington, tell Washington, hey, I am for real. We are the real team. You are a pretender. I picked the Buffalo Bills to win this one. 
Colts at Ravens is a tricky one as well. Honestly, if um, Anthony Richardson was playing, I might say, hey, the Ravens are going to lose this, but he's not. It's Gardner Minshew, and they're not facing the Texan defense. I think Baltimore will win this game. I think it'll be really, really close. I think the Colts are a well-coached team. Um, but they're losing. They lost their rookie quarterback. Gardner Minshew can definitely, you know, win a game too. Um, he's a very competent quarterback. But I think Baltimore should, you know, have a really good, you know, good season start. And I think they honestly they win the division this year. And maybe Lamar Jackson really proves, hey, I am that guy. And good thing y'all paid me. Pick the Baltimore Ravens. Patriots at Jets. If Aaron Rodgers was playing, this would be so much more entertaining. Unfortunately, Aaron Rodgers is out. We already got that established. Zach Wilson is not a good quarterback. He'll be at home, but the New England Patriot defense is very impressive, um, especially that rookie corner. And, you know, Bill Belichick can definitely, you know, frustrate Zach Wilson into an aptitude. I think Zach Wilson's going to have a really bad day. It's going to be a very low scoring game because the Jets defense will play, come to play. But I think New England Patriots are not going to start 0 and 3. In the Bill Belichick era, I believe Bill Belichick will beat the New York Jets. They will both be 1 and 2. Patriots win a close one. Carolina Panthers at Seattle Seahawks. The Panthers do not have Bryce Young. Um, Bryce Young was not anything really impressive, but still. You know, that's their starting quarterback. Andy Dalton can definitely come out and give the Seahawks a scare. I think Andy Dalton will play better than Bryce has played and will give the Seahawks something to be like, oh, this might something might happen. But the Seattle Seahawks are a good football team and have a good football team at home against a team that is doesn't have a quarterback and doesn't have much receivers. And I think I think it should be an easy one for Seattle. If Seattle loses, there's definitely gonna be a pretender, but this is Seattle's chance to really start off the season and show, hey, I'm for real. We're actually contenders. We're actually going to make some noise. You know, we can do something in the NFC. I think the 49ers are going to beat everybody, but hey, maybe we could do something. So I picked the Seahawks to win this one. Man, upset of the week. Lying. Chicago Bears have a lot of problems. Probably the most um, inept team this year, team with the most issues, probably team with less hope or the least hope. Um, Justin Fields has not played well. And, you know, this week he's had, there's been some reports, you know, he blamed the coaching staff and he said, no, stop, you put words in my mouth. And then, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Chicago Bears offense should be better. They should just simplify the offense for Justin Fields. I don't think there should be any reason to make, make anything complex. You know, Chicago Bears should be a team that's about defensive running. So that's what I think. You got a running quarterback. You got two running backs that are pretty decent. Man, your defense ain't good, but. Y'all need to get better on that, but they have issues with their defensive coach anyways. I don't know. There's a lot into that. With the team with so much dysfunction going to a team that's that has the main character, I mean, you know, I can I can play around and say, yeah, Chicago's going to win this one, but I'm not going to. I, I said Jacksonville was going to do it. They didn't. <laughs> it's Kansas City by a 1,000. Uh, pick them. No, it's not picking me. The Cowboys at the Cardinals. This is a away game, so that's interesting, but Arizona just had – one of the worst collapses of the year, if not the worst collapse of the year last week. They blew a 21-point lead. They're obviously not very serious. Dallas is very hot. I think this game will be a little closer to the fact that it's in Arizona and not Dallas. But honestly, I don't I don't see any opportunity for Arizona to do anything. The, the Dallas defense, even though they took in a loss with Trayvon Diggs, they're still formidable. Uh, Micah Parsons is the heart of the defense. I honestly believe that the Dallas Cowboys should win this game. Start off 3-0, and everyone's going to be like, is this our year? Is the Cowboys going to win the Super Bowl this year? You know, I actually had a dream that Dallas made the Super Bowl. Hey, see if it comes true. Dallas Cowboys win this game. Man, if this was the 70s, man, this would be a banger. Steelers at Raiders. Um, Sunday Night Football, you know, Kenny Pickett. Matt, they hate Matt Canada, the offensive coach for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, Najee Harris hasn't done a lot. The Las Vegas Raiders just got blown out by a thousand by the Bills. So this is honestly is a game that there's no, there's nothing in this game that gives anyone an edge, in my opinion. There's nothing that makes me say, man, that's a good reason they're going to win. Like I, I have no clue. I'm picking the Las Vegas Raiders. They're at home, you know, and that's all I can really give you. I can't even tell you. There's no deep reason. I mean, the Steelers' defense played well last week, but. I don't know. I, I honestly, this is an actually evenly placed matchup because there's no advantage that I'm thinking of right now that makes us say, okay, definitely. We'll just pick the Las Vegas Raiders for now. The Eagles at the Buccaneers. Two 2-0 teams. And honestly, I'm about to give you 
a big boy surprise. I picked the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win this. I know y'all like, what? The Philadelphia Eagles have a tendency of starting off really hot in the game, and then they stop scoring. They just kind of stop scoring and let you back in it. I think Philadelphia is going to get a lead in this game, and they're going to have Tampa Bay just hang around. And as they hang around, Tampa Bay is going to make a comeback and win off like a field goal at the end of the game. I picked Tampa Bay to win this game. The Eagles don't have that same scariness that they did last year because they lost their OC, Shane Steichen, to the Colts. So picking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in my upset of the week. Last but not least, my Super Bowl rematch. Uh, Los Angeles Rams and Cincinnati Bengals. Um, this is a very interesting matchup because two of these teams, they both are actually really good teams. They're just not starting well. And, you know, going, losing an extra game definitely is going to hurt them in the long run in the standings. But it's a long season, so they can. I think they can recover from it, especially Cincinnati. If Joe Burrow is playing, I don't know if Joe Burrow is playing. He said he had calf injury or calf issues. But I'm picking Cincinnati Bengals. I think this will be a very entertaining game. I think with the Bengals being on Monday Night Football, I think they have their white jerseys. I think it's going to be a really good atmosphere. I just picked Cincinnati to win, a, win by like 7 to 10 points. I think the Rams are going to play really well. I like the Rams' offense. I like their running back. I like their receivers. Um, they're all stepping up when he never heard of them before, right? But I'm gonna pick the Cincinnati Bengals to win this one. So those are my picks of the week. For more picks like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to do this every single week I can, and hopefully I get these right this week. And hopefully, maybe the one I went wrong, hopefully the Texans can find a way to win, because I actually, honestly, I want that one to be wrong. I want the Texans to win. Um, but yeah, for more content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.